Yo, what's going on, everyone? I am back. I finally finished my exams, and it's just p worked out like perfect timing because X Defiant has now dropped. And I figured, do you know what? If you've been following me since Pro Company, we sort of evaluate and go over the battle pass. So I figured, let's go and do that, and then we'll check out the store and see what some of the cosmetics are saying there. So let's go through it. But let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I've personally got a favorite already, and I'll let you know what it is as we go through. So we've got this. Anarchy Rare Gear Skin. For those that were Rogue Company, this kind of reminds me of like the Phantom or Switchblade Punk Rock type theme. And you know, you've got like the di like the diamond things all over. And yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that. And it's an instant unlockable. So as soon as you buy the battle pass, you unlock it. But this is this is nice. I like what they've done with this. Again, continuing like that kind of punk rock theme. You've got the, like the guitar hands. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm just going to put it out there. This is probably one of my favorites in this battle pass. Battle pass XP boost. This is... This is like classic, classic Call of Duty with the Red Tiger camo. You know, if you've played Call of Duty, you'll know exactly about the Red Tiger and Blue Tiger. Yep, you can see that all day with that one. And I'm actually liking the M4 at the moment as well. You've got this Arc uh, Premium Reward and it's a so soothing color scheme. Lulls foes into full sense of calm before the firestorm. Um, and let's have a little inspection of that one as well. Uh, can't move the oh, I can move the camera user error user error but yeah I, I don't know what that reminds me of to be honest but I, I guess it's very very like echelon themed then you've got some weapon XP boost which you can use to level up your weapons faster and then next of all at tier 4 you've got this cobalt premium reward and it's like a blue metallic -y color do you know what? I'm a fan of the single color designs I just am so yeah pretty good then what do we get next I think this is some like player death screen. I think so. Yeah, I think you get that like at that outline. So yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, bearing in mind, I've only just loaded up the game. I've had a few games though. Did play in the beta and stuff and I've got a really cool MP5. In fact, let me show you that. Let me show you that. Because this is, this is quite sick. Who else got this from the beta? Because this is probably one of the... The coolest MP5 skins I think to ever exist. Look at that. That is so sick. That is top tier. But anyway, I, I, I digress. I digress. Let's go back to the battle pass. Then you get some X Defiance coins, which you can use in the store. So we'll check out some of the things that you could actually buy in the store. And then you've got this Anarchy um, is a Dahlia skin. So again, continue. With, it's very much punk rock themed, you can say. And you can tell by the colors in the hair there. Some of the check on the body. It's good. I'm feeling the designs. I'm feeling the designs. Then you've got this cold steel uh, D50 skin. Desert Eagle. Very, very nice. Clean. More coins. So that's 200 coins so far. The MDR. So this is just unlocking the weapon. Uh, there was a few people, including Decoy, that liked the MDR. I didn't actually get to use it last beta because I can't remember what I was doing, but I think it's quite a good gun. I I've heard good things anyway. And then we have this Alpha Ruby Sebastian skin. And I like the colorways on this. I'm a big fan of that like burgundy color. Big up Arsenal. It's probably one of my favorite Arsenal's um, kit colors. That uh, burgundy one with the gold O2 on. Whew. And then we've got a player animation. I've not really seen these yet, um, but maybe it's just me. Maybe my glasses ain't working, but then we've got a superhero landing. Very good. Very Spider-Man-y. Like it. Like it in a lot. We've got these stars. What do these stars do? Common emoji pack. Okay. And then at 15, you've got this Morganite um, MP5 skin, but if you've already played the beta, you're going to feel like this is a little bit underwhelming compared to the other one that I just showed you. But... You know, it's good to get skins anyway. It's good to get skins. Now we get another 100x quin, so that takes us to 300. Before we move on to the Shamrock, another solid metallic cold hard cash skin, apparently. <laughs> but the green looks cool. Look at that. It looks good. I personally would like it if these were like solid yellow. I feel like in solid colors, yellow just seems to be the best. But let me know your solid, like favorite solid color down below. And um, we got some more Battle Pass XP. We've got a Dungaree Gia skin. Again, um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this, you know. Looks pretty good. Then we've got an up top. Up top if you've hit subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Yes. This is sick. The Lux all round the SMG. Ooh, sweet niblets. White and gold and purple. 
I mean, yeah, that, in fact, actually, this has got to be the best one so far, for real. Like, 100% no cap, for real, for real, on God. That is that is just the best skin. And then we get some more, so that takes us to 400. And then we got a high velocity. Do you know what this reminds me of? It's kind of like, reminds me of uh, Mirage from Apex Legends. Just, I don't know if it's just the colorways or the way it was just standing there, but it just instantly reminded me of mirage then we got this avalanche skin for the m9 okay it's, it's not the best it's not the best i must admit i'm not a massive fan of those sort of skins and then we got some weapon xp booster which is good for leveling up your guns if you said before then we've got a common gin skin so again this is I, I don't think this is very punk rocker theme to me but again it may be that they've got two themes going on and i'm just not very good at deciphering that but cool another skin we take it we take it emojis we're getting towards a business end of the because i think there's 50 tiers right so we, we're getting there oh see amber so this is a, a 93r skin see i think see that yellow for me it's just always been like a a color i enjoy on on weapons don't know why just just for me that we get another 100 coins so that takes 500 we do get this free disruption skin which is actually a skin i already have for an m4 because we played in the beta so if you have a look here we've already got this sort of skin on the m4 so it's good to be getting it on other weapons as well and then now we've got another common player card so you can see like the um the theme colors there it's like pink blacky and gold do you know what if, if they made that white that would have been kind of cool because you had like this color theme from say like the p90 but maybe that's a color theme for another skin a bit later on yeah just personal personal gripe there personal gripe oh high velocity rare vector skin that is clean af that is actually really nice i like that i like what they've done there that looks very nice indeed some more xp boosters and then we've got the i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna try say this hibiscus what bringing a chill island vibe to a frantic battlefield near you that's okay i'm feeling the shirt though the shirt is a vibe like, that's what i'm gonna say some more emoji packs more x coins that takes us to 600 i believe if i've been counting properly and then we got this legendary green skin called firestorm um and it looks like it's animated and doesn't, doesn't that just look sick i love that the fire on the bottom yeah that is clean i don't know if this you'll be able to see that in game but you can see like some of the ashes from like the from the burnt clothes and stuff flying up i wonder if that'll give me frame drops or not but i mean look it's a clean skin for the cleaners <laughs> it's a terrible joke i know some more battle pass xp boosters and then we get onto another solid color for the vector um i think i would actually use the other one over this solid color one but it's clean some people would prefer that another player card looks pretty busy to me a lot of squares a lot of things going on another emoji pack and another green skin the thing is right here's the thing if you've got the legendary one why are you going to be equipping this one I think they kind of should have flipped these around the other way so you get this first so you might actually want to use this one for a little while Although, do you know what this reminds me of like a ski outfit this is kind of like the, like the trousers just give me skiing vibes even though it's not got a ski jacket on but hey ho i think they maybe should have flipped these tiers around a little bit then we got the pelagic uh, m44 skin that scope just looks madness on that don't it it's okay i can't see what wait to see what oh m60 i wish it was on the m4 this is like the exact same with the vector skin i like this a lot that is good and then we get another lot of 100 x queens which means that takes us to 700 before we then get a legendary player animation called gunfire and this one is is, is pretty good i'll be equipping that for sure and they've done it again they've got another they should have just put the legendary one at the end i'm, I'm not feeling this as much as as the last one but why have they put this lesser rarity at the end? I don't know. Maybe it's because we're used to seeing like higher rarities at the end of battle passes. I guess it's good they've kind of mixed it up. So it doesn't matter if you're playing all the time. You could still get to say that legendary uh, skin if you if if you were playing only a little bit. And then at tier 49, the one before last, we've got this Jin rare skin. And I like this. I like this sort of theme. I'd like to see this theme on guns. Um, in Valorant, these sort of themes go down really well. I, I'm generally quite a fan of this. And then, after locking the MDR, 
It's only compulsory, right, that you get the legendary skin for it, and it's called Firestorm. And... <sighs> I think this is an amazing first battle pass, if I'm being honest. This Firestorm skin, shame it's not animated. I feel like they could have... Maybe there is in-game. Um, if anyone's bought to the end and you can see that it's actually animated, then that would be amazing. Uh, or let me know in the comments down below. But aesthetically and the design of this, very, very nice indeed. So after going through this battle pass, let me know in the comments down below which one's your favourite. So let's have a little look at some of the things in store at the moment. So we've got this Phantom Prototype bundle. Um, there's some clean designs here. This is, gets me excited for the future and what they could bring in because that is a really cool design. And I love they're not like playing it safe with just keeping things like realistic. Um, the, these are really good designs, including this legendary skin as well. And it, again, so you can see that the the intention is is to actually have some animation on the skins in the game, especially on their legendary skins. So I'll be surprised if the tier 50 unlock doesn't actually have animation on it from the one we're getting from the battle pass called Firestorm. And this P90 is a bit meh. I actually prefer the one in the battle pass. And then we get in a player card. So that's uh, that's pretty good. And then we've got these bundles. Um, I would love to know if X Define. Uh, we are a partner with Ubisoft and X Define. I don't know if we are going to get any codes or anything for the future. But if you do subscribe to the channel, if I get informed of any giveaways that I can do, this is the place to be. And this is probably the best one in the store at the moment. This is the Akka Oni. And it looks like we're getting some daily rotations as well, which is really good. Um, and this is a legendary skin. And it doesn't look like this has animate. Oh, it does have animation there. Look, you can see the animation on the legs. But it also reminds me of the... I can't think of his, the robot guy's name in Apex Legends. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. And then we've got this design continued, which you can buy as well. So I think we'll probably get a variant this, a variant of this for most of the weapons. Um, and then we've got a few other things. So like this game mode. Ah, so like the skin we was getting in the battle pass, it does look like we could maybe get this on a lot of the skins. And I think that's quite a clean design. Very exciting. Um, and then there's nothing too much else. This is kind of like the design from the MP5 that I showed you from the beta. So it looks like if you didn't, lose out on not getting it in the beta maybe there'll be another chance to get it i don't know um and then we got this toxic wasteland um cleaner skin as well so overall i think the battle pass was about a nine out of ten it's pretty good for a first battle pass but until the next one see ya <laughs>